Hi, my name is Richard Tendick. I'm an editor with American Woodworker magazine, and I'd like to introduce you to our Power Tool Friendly Bench. This is featured in the uh, February March issue of the magazine, and it's a uh, very feature loaded bench. The bench is made out of two pieces of three quarter inch plywood and two pieces of half inch plywood. Starting with the top, what we've done is in order to create a thick top and a flat top is that we have used a standard hollow core door. You can see the end of it right here. It's an 80 inch by 3, 30 inch uh, door that you now uh, glue the top and the bottom pieces of plywood to it. We've added just a little bit of uh, extra wood material here to allow for some extra length on that end for a router table and a vise on this end. We have overlapped the top of the plywood beyond the door to allow for this very convenient power strip right here. You can now have all of your power tools, hand power tools, plug into this and it's completely out of the way, but extremely handy for you. The base is made out of strips of three inch wide, three quarter inch thick plywood. It's glued and screwed together to make an extremely sturdy bench. The vise that we're using is a standard woodworking vise, seven inch, that uh, fits very nicely on the overhang here. On this end, we have an extra long uh, overhang where we have applied the, uh, the router table. It's just the plate is inlet into the surface so it's nice and flat with the motor hanging underneath. Now I designed this bench so that it would conveniently house your uh, machine tools. In this case, a table saw and a vertical spindle sander. The reason for this is that they exemplify two different ways of, of storing things. One is the short uh, tool and the tall tool. Both can be stored in this and then brought out to be put into use. Now, we're using these smaller tools because this is the type of tooling that you would expect to see in a small shop. For example, a garage. Because we have a storage uh, problem with most tools, we've made this bench so that it has a movable aspect to it. We've got casters on both ends, and right here we have a little lever that we use for lifting the bench up. It's extremely easy to use. All you have to do is pull the lever down and then push it down, which now raises the bench up. It is now locked in place, and you can roll the table wherever you want with the four swivel casters. While I'm reaching where you want to have the uh, uh, bench set up, it's just a matter of pushing down and dropping it down to again have a nice firm workbench. I designed this bench to make use of bench top tools. They're small, handy, and really can be stored inside of the, the bench quite easily. The problem with them is that if you were to store it inside and then set it on top, they're now at the wrong height. They're very inconvenient that way. If you build a special table to hold them, now you have them eating up more floor space. With this design right here, all we have to do is we pull the saw out like that, and we have little stops that fall down and hold the saw like this so that now we can just pivot it up and put it into a usable position. Notice here the, out, the tabletop now becomes the outfeed for your saw. All right, the way this thing works is we have two 16 inch drawer slides on either side of a couple of sliding wooden pieces. They pull out 
until these little aluminum stops fall down and prevent the table from sliding back in as you're trying to lift it. The lifting mechanism consists of these links right here so that, as you can see, they allow the table to go down for storage position and back up for your work position. We also have these little cables right here. These cables clip onto some rings inside, like that, one on either side, which that will now prevent the table from kicking back and falling down into the storage position in case of a severe kickback. Now the table saw will come with a fence, a splitter, and a guard. And because they're extra height, what we've done is we've taken them off for storage and kept them on the far end of the bench here on their little individual brackets. The second machine that we've put into the bench here is a uh, oscillating spindle top sander. The reason we chose this particular tool is that it illustrates how you can get extra lifting distance and hence uh, you can store a taller tool inside. You grab a hold of it, as the other one, pulling it all the way out. Then you grab it and you swing it all the way up and it's now in your working position. Again, right at the same height as your tabletop. The beauty of this particular table is that not only can you put tools like this in, you can choose different tools. If you wanted to eliminate this, for example, you could put in a series of drawers in this area or eliminate the tools entirely and have drawers and doors. It's a very versatile workbench.